I usually go around 1 a.m. Because I'm not stoned at all. <laughs> but they got everything, and I only go for the necessities. So after perusing the store for about an hour and six minutes, <laughs> I go to the counter with two Reese's peanut butter cups, a Snickers bar, a bag of Twizzlers, where I have Starbucks, <laughs> bag of pretzels, some French onion dip, two cans of Coke, a bottle of Gatorade, a keychain lighter, <laughs> a deluxe toenail clipper, <laughs> Single roll of toilet paper, bag of beef jerky, and a much needed bottle of Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Rajiv behind the counter goes, <laughs> He goes, You want a bag with that? <laughs> no. no, I'm gonna juggle this shit to the <laughs> I'm working on my stoner juggling act. I'm gonna take it on the road with the diabetic dance team. The 7 Eleven's the best, and it's everywhere. Right? In my neighborhood, they're building the 7 Eleven inside a 7 Eleven. <laughs> It's the mark of civilization. And you can learn things there. One time, I go to the counter. My total is 1864. I turn to my buddy and say, that was a good year. <laughs> Rajiv behind the counter goes, actually, sir, it was a good year. <laughs> The Civil War was still going on, but Lincoln was up for re-election. <laughs> no. So, like any good, red-blooded, patriotic product of the American public school system, I turned to him and I said, Lincoln who? <laughs> Despite the Civil War raging on and his growing disapproval, he defeated George McLennan by a landslide, really. <laughs> Someone's been studying for the citizenship test. <laughs> really care about, right? Sports, reality TV. <laughs> Can you imagine Rajiv and his buddy studying for that test? Okay, okay, I think I'm ready. Quiz me, quiz me. <laughs> what do you call it when a football player scores in the end zone? Well, yesterday on Sports Center, I heard them say, he took that one to the house. <laughs> so I'm gonna say home run. <laughs> okay, okay. Name the seventh Kardashian. <laughs> I thought there were six. That's <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, but she's Jenner, so. Wait, 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 wait. Caitlyn Jenner? Who the fuck is Caitlyn Jenner? Is she with Bruce? You could say that. Wow. That must have been a big change for everyone. You have no idea. They can also put conspiracy theories, right? We got enough of those. Put those on the test. Matter of fact, I had a boss who was a conspiracy theorist. He joined the, the Facebook group. You guys hear about this shit? The Facebook group of guys who are in a rush area 51. <laughs> now, 
first, I'm thinking, a little hypocritical. A bunch of guys conspiring to unravel a conspiracy. <laughs> but, you gotta admit, these guys got cojones. This is a dangerous operation. The guards at Area 51 fire on sight. Shoot to kill. It's like you gotta be former LAPD to work at Area 51. <laughs> On sight. Regardless, I still think it's a great idea. I think they should demand government transparency. And I think we as a nation need to thin the herd a little bit. Just let these idiots Darwin themselves. Because I'm tired of arguing about was the moon landing real? Is the earth round or flat? <laughs> but I think it's a great idea. And I think it could help us solve some of the dilemmas that have been coming up in the nation. But to do it right, to successfully rush Area 51, they're going to need strength in numbers. Right? So here's what I propose we get that big group of Migrant from Mexico? <laughs> Follow me on this. <laughs> we blindfold. Follow me. <laughs> Bring them to the meetup at Area 51. You take off the blindfolds, point to the fences, and say, You are saying, muchachos! <laughs> Aliens invading Area 51? There's some Orson Welles shit all over the place. We'll just see you then. If we take you live to Roswell, New Mexico, where we have confirmation aliens are inside Area 51, <laughs> we'd like to warn our viewers. The images you see, the language you hear, may be disturbing. <laughs> Cuts to the scene. Oh, that me hit me! <laughs> you hear reggaeton music blasting in the background? Food <laughs> 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 trucks rolling up. guys on a bicycle selling porn. <laughs> UFO pinatas. <laughs> they already built a bodega next to a car wash. <laughs> it's a party. And at that point, they let them go. Because anybody here who's partying with Latinos knows, get them to the party, no problem. Try getting the leave. <laughs> Make an event out of it. Right? We can air it on Telemundo. <laughs> Have a ribbon cutting ceremony with musical performances by Pitbull y Carlos Santana. I want to have some real fun, we can rename it Area 51. <laughs> or Barrio 51. species on our hands. <laughs> Call them extraterrestrials. <laughs> Think about it. A passionate, 
hard-working being with super advanced technological capabilities. <laughs> Can you imagine what your landscaping's gonna look like? Lawnmowers, they sound like war machines. You know what I'm talking about. Outside? No, no. These dudes are gonna roll up with laser beams. <laughs> your lawn? Perfectly cut. Like that, your rhododendrons on point. No more of these big ass trucks blocking up your streets. These dudes are just an armada on UFOs. <laughs> <laughs> your wife calls you at work. Honey, you're not gonna believe this. I think there's a UFO above the house. <laughs> oh, relax, dear. That's the new landscapers. <laughs> Say hello, their names are Rodriguez Orp and Juliax. <laughs> Mexican aliens. What are they asking? They just did your leader. I don't know if that's the best idea. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. Thank you.